The NFC South heads east. It's the coach. This is week six of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, it's our second international game of the year, and it's a good one in the NFC South, as we'll see the Carolina Panthers take on the home team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll have a look at what's to come later at halftime, but first, let's get you to a couple of right fine chaps. It's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one, between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should. And what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Dalvin Cook. Off play action. Travis. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. Now the ball comes loose. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. On first and 10, Travis. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to strike. And they will be led out by their 6-3 cornerback. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago to belong the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. I think his decisiveness, one cut and he goes, that's what's really made pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week, easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. They'll set up a throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. Ready, it's first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's getting to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. Let's go, defense. Back to throw. Travis. And he finds the tight end, Reed. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve... Already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. On second down, Cook. And a re To throw on third down, Travis. Terrific return 
as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. The tight end, Kelsey, was the intended target. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Back to throw here. Passing angles, thus the incompletion. And his kick is right there. It's good. Solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just... I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys. On first down, Travis. He'll dump this off to Cook. This play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. From the gun on third down. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. Now Cook. Cook stripped. The ball's out. It's along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On second down. It's Johnson. Being able to diagnose run or pass. And make end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three and six. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. The throw, unable to find anyone open. Uh, yeah, that was nice. They'll look to throw here. It's still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game. You figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. Here's a second and seven. Throwing left side. Yeah. From the gun, Travis. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And yeah, he's good in a yard. Second and one. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The competition. On third down, Travis. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Half. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pipe. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to... Our game has been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team. Looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects. We're all looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show him one thing. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looks to throw. They start the drive with Cook. And they're going to be Looking to throw on second down. Travis got his man complete over the middle. That's the first down. Executed it to perfection. Going up top. That's the side of the ball. You've got to go band of brothers thought process. No one left behind. Operating from the gun. Travis. Over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way. A yard here on third and goal. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And they'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's the full game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. And it creep in and affect their play. Second and 13. Looking to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. He played well in the first quarter. 
Good second quarter in that, continuing that. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. Passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards in the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll look to throw here on first down. And now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to... And he will score! Touchdown, Panthers! It's their quarterback. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. The defensively didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. Figure it out and know when it's time to go. They'll try to run it here. And he is not going to make it. Be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller. Because He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. They'll try and throw for it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nope. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They're going to look to throw. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. Good yardage. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third. Back to throw now on first down. And second and ten. There, that time he fell incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. advantage in a one-score game and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense obviously the four-minute offense applies here how do they run that effectively yeah really what the four-minute offense is is you just try and he's into the end zone touchdown Buccaneers Evan Ingram his first touchdown on the year the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out. He'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Going for it all. And they've got the lead. Fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They'll drop to throw. Looking for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. It. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. And his kick is indeed good. And then tried last time. Let's we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thrown. Off the play fake. Travis. And this one comes. Look for second down if they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here on second and 16. Now a run with Cook. Important third down. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. Bad factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time, they've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's it. And a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Fighting ahead at the 15. One final kneel down here, and that should just be right because it's not a championship game yet, 
for the team that's undefeated, feels like a champion. So you want a little bit extra in this one. Yeah, they've got to feel great about taking the knee here.